Today we're going to learn about mats and how I use those to create the intro to my tutorials. Let's see how to do it in Resolve. Okay, so we've got our project here and what the first thing I'm going to do is turn off all these text effects just so that the timeline is less cluttered. So that's all these are really text effects. Uh, we're going to focus here on these two compound clips. So we're going to go in and let me first turn off the uh, music and we're going to go ahead and go into and play this now you see that all there is to this is uh, a series of videos that are in the background and then there's this mat that we use to create a template effect so let's go on uh, now we're going to focus in here on these two clips these compound clips and we're going to right click and go into uh, decompose and place so that we can look at it closer and what we see here is just a series of clips so that's all there is to it. nothing special here just clips back to back I've got uh, two of these here side by side so I can get a mirror effect that's all there is to that okay nothing special so if we go back to our main timeline um, now the the second compound clip is very similar nothing special there just just like the first one so we're gonna go into the media tab now and we're going to go to the file folder where our two mats are located. And so you see these two mats, and I, I'm just going to play one of them. And all it is is a video file with a, a image here, white on black. And as I play that, you can see that it illuminates it. And then at the end, it actually uh, turns it off. So we're going to select these two, right-click, add to media pool as a mat. And we know it's a mat because if you look closely, you see the square, white square with the black dot in the middle so that's how we know it's a map so now we're going to go into our color tab and in a color tab we've got our two compound clips so we're going to take the first one we're going to right click in the field and here do add alpha output then we're going to select the node and then right click and add mat and then there's the two mats that we just added so now we're going to select the first one for this clip and then um, we're going to go into here and connect it up and then we can uh, play it and you see that's exactly what we had uh, in the intro okay so I'm gonna show you some uh, customization uh, so if you go down and you want to customize it you select the external mat node first uh, the key oh the external node we select the node and then we got the key and we're gonna unlock the mat and then what we want to do is let's say I want to have it illuminate first and then go out so I can adjust the out offset to a negative number and then you can see there as it plays it goes out at the beginning or if I wanted to actually do just the opposite and actually start off illuminated then I'd have a positive number in there so you can adjust this as you see fit based on whatever effect you want to accomplish okay so now we're going to go into the second clip and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to right click, add alpha output, select the node, right click, add mat. This time we're going to do the second mat. Then we're going to connect it up. Now what we want to do is look at it real quick. And okay, so the position is, is off, plus it needs to be inverted. So we're going to go through a, a series of uh, adjustments, refinements to this customization. So I'm going to select the mat and go and unlock it. And then I'm going to adjust the pan because I want to move it to the right. So pan moves it to the right. I'm going to pipe in a positive number. And then we're also going to go and flip it, I think, a couple of times here. I think actually both vertically and horizontally. There we go. Now if I play it, it looks like I've got exactly what I'm looking for with the effect as you saw in the intro tutorial. Okay, very good. So let's say that you wanted to do some additional customization. So I'm going to put this in the middle and uh, let's say you wanted to zoom in or if you want to shift it to the right, you do tilt or if you want to rotate it or what have you, uh, it, sky's the limit. There's plenty of uh, customization that's available to you right there. So that's all there is to this. If you've got questions, please leave those in the comments below. But before I leave, I wanted to let you know I'm going to leave a link to my Google Drive where there's a couple of mats 
that you can download at your leisure and play around with your project. So have fun and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.